Hello everyone, in my previous video, you can see from my channel, so I introduced you the full text search functionality with Scout so that you can develop your search functionality with Laravel. It's a very simple uh, search uh, functionality on the web page. So you can see from my screen, so this is a very basic functionality I developed and uh, it's working. And today I want to cover some advanced topic about uh, Scout usage. So what I'm going to solve is the issue on this feature. You can see here, if I type nothing here, it lists all the items. But what if I type two? Uh, the idea is that I want to show the writing to story item. But you can see the result here, it lists far more than I expect. So for example, jumping, writing, AA, and jumping, these items are listed here just because it, they have character two in the due date. This is not expected. In general, for search, in this use case, I just want to index the name column. So how can we do that with Scout? So first of all, we need to install something. It's called Scout Extended. Okay, so we can we can jump into the step by step introduction. I create a separate branch, the feature advanced for text search. So first of all, I need to do the installation. So Scout Extended give us the ability to customize the Scout search. So install Scout Extended. The next thing is publish the provider. You may already have the provider. We just follow the, the, the document. Okay, so we have also added the searchable trait to the, the model. In our case, it's a to-do model. Searchable has already been added. Then let's move on. So it's recommended to use Q. So for that purpose, I didn't change it. And I have already configured the API key. So a app ID, a Golia app ID, and a secret in my local dev environment. So for more details, you can watch my previous video. So I have the full step of how to set up the Scout with Agolia. Okay, that's pretty much it. Once you finish, so you can move on. So you can import your, your records. But for us, we need to do a couple of things. So I can show you what I have done. So you need to flush or you can ignore it because in the following steps, the records will be updated or be re-imported so that your your records in Agodia will all in a good shape for your new search functionality. So what we need to do here is artisan scout optimize. This is to generate the search settings for your searchable models. So in our case, we have this config. You can see here the searchable attribute name and due. So that's a default uh, setting. It means that the search or the algolia will index both name and the due columns for you. So when you type search, for example, in my use case, when I search two, so the item with 
the due column having character two will be returned to you then listed on the web page. So here we don't need due. So we just need name to be searchable. So that's this is our config, our setting. Next step is to use uh, scale sync. This is to sync our setting to remote. So you can see here, remote setting does not exist. So it's uploading the setting file to Agolia backend. Okay. The last thing is that you need to import your model or re-import. Okay, so model has been imported. And uh, if you see the scout help, here is the option, re-import. So you can import the, the records that you have already done it before so that your setting can be applied and that the data will be overridden in the back end. Okay, I have done it. Now let's try the front end. Refresh the page. Okay, you see the data there. And then, that, and then I type two. Okay, you see now only the item with name writing two stories listed here. That's what I expect. And if I type five, writing five stories, type seven, I remember the one item, yes, writing seven stories, and I clear the switch box, search again. Okay, it lists all the items for me. Also, the pagination is working as expected. Okay, so you know that we can use Scout Extended to give more capability in our search box. So when we want to customize and uh, just make some specific columns uh, be searchable, we can use it and uh, generate the settings for those models using the scout optimize command and the other commands I, I show you just now. Hopefully it helps. Okay, so this is how we can customize the scout search. This is somehow the advanced feature you can use in your day-to-day -day laboral development. Okay, that's it for today. Hope it helps to your day-to-day -day development. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing. As usual, I will also commit a code, make a PR, and put in the video description. Feel free to check it out and comment. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.